I shoot for skills, so don't you be afraid, Jay. I'm gonna tell to the JC, stay late, skip my call, me, boy, the flush, and I'm the ace. The chairman's room has been cleared out. Well, that's no surprise, considering what he did. I just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Sudden death of Kirijo's group CEO. They blame it on illness, though. Yeah, it's never the truth. Mitsuru Senpai's not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot of matters to be settled, including the funeral and the family business. I'm sure she'll be busy for at least a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? What'll happen to Chidori? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of shock. I hope Igis is all right. What the hell? Am I just supposed to wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the board of directors, and that might explain the delay. I see. But still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know what we're fighting against. What was that he said about the fall? What would have happened if we'd been sacrificed? There are so many unanswered questions. Yeah, but standing around here won't solve anything, right? Mm, true. But there is one thing we know. Tartarus is still around, and there's a bunch of shadows inside it. We should train so we're ready for whatever it is we might have to face. Yukari-chan. Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's hard drive. Most of it was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. I thought you might like to see it. Thanks, Fuka. I'll watch it later.
pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. That's why I had to interrupt it. However, in doing so, I set free a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. Please, listen carefully. I cannot stress this enough. You must not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Huh? This part's... I wasn't able to stop this madness. He won't listen no matter what I say. He's under the devil's spell. Now the shadows are trying to eat one another. But if they're reunited, then we are all doomed. I'll say this once more. Leave the shadows be. This is the original video, before Ikutsuki changed it. Dad tried to stop the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one favor to ask. Whoever finds this, please, give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon, and I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, Daddy was the happiest man on Earth when he was with you. I love you, Yukari. Please, take care of yourself. Dad? One thing for sure now. I was right to believe in him. Are you listening, Dad? I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. fight for what I believe in. That's what you would have wanted. Right, Dad? Welcome. As I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? And I am not referring to your change in circumstances. I am referring to the change in your mentality. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. I see you recognize it. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I chooseth this fate of mine own free will. There is no need to worry. Whichever path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, only you will bear the responsibility for your actions, no matter what end they may bring about. Please, Remember that. Well then, I bid you farewell.
Yo, Chidori. Sorry about not being able to come lately. A uh, lot's been going on. Hey, what's wrong? So you heard about Takai and Jen, huh? I was planning on telling you. They were your friends, after all. What? That's not it? I'm scared. It hurts. Junpei, what will you be doing in two years? Two years? I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. Why do you ask? Hey, I, I noticed you stopped, you know, uh, hurting yourself. Oh, I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. <gasps> Don't touch me! Oh, uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to... This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But it's different now. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I, I don't understand. D did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei. Don't come here anymore. But, uh, Chidori... Where have you been? Sick. 
All right, everyone. Today we have yet another transfer student. As you all know, this is our third. That makes it a hat trick. Please introduce yourself. My name is Ryoji Mochizuki. I would be grateful if you could show me the ropes. <laughs> hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Not so loud. Nice to meet you. Ryoji lived overseas for a long time because of his parents' work. So he may not be used to all of our customs. Be sure to explain them to him. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. Oh, that one's open. Second from the left in the front. Um, Miss Toriyumi, technically that seat's taken. You must be present to be a member of this class. So as far as I'm concerned, that seat is available. Life is nothing but a game of musical chairs. The rest of you should be careful, too. Good morning. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out on a date yet. A date? Hmm? I guess, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Rejected from the start. You're an interesting girl. <sighs> Your teacher understands, I guess. You haven't had very long to be the new student, and already you have to share the spotlight. I wish your classmates would pay attention to me for a change. Hey, are any of you even listening? What's up, dude?
Greetings. Hi, how is your day?
There you are. I've been looking for you. It's rare for you to miss a student council meeting. I take it someone asked you to find me? Well, yeah, even though I'm not a member. Sorry about that. They seem pretty busy with the class trip and all. I bet you have your hands full since it's both for juniors and seniors. Huh. The class trip, huh? Even if I went, I'd only spoil the fun. You're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. Is that so? To tell you the truth, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I know what it's like to lose a father. Talk about. I decided that I should be more upfront with you from now on. Ah, there she is. Hey there, ladies. I've been looking everywhere for you. Ryoji-kun, why are you here? Huh? Same as you. I was trying to find Mitsuru-senpai. Some girl I've never met before asked me to look for her. What? I wasn't the only one she asked, either. She said if we don't find her, the class trip might get cancelled. Seems like the Vice President has the whole school looking for you. But I'm the lucky one who found you, Mitsuru Kirijo. You're quite stunning, if I may say so. Would you like to go out sometime? I know this one restaurant. It's on the top floor of a three-star hotel. The view at night is almost as breathtaking as you. Huh? Senpai, you better get back to the meeting! I... I suppose so. Takeba, thank you for your concern. For now, I will attend to my duties. Hey, she didn't answer my question. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Um, Yukari-san, how about you? Would you like to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! Welcome back.
Hi, how was your day? What's up, dude? I've chosen. Persona change. This one. Orpheus! What a stylish power. Um... Orpheus Piccaro! <laughs> that was easier than I thought. This group works. Stay in formation. No changes. <laughs> 